Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Angular video tutorial we will see that how we can send the data from child component to parent component, right? And in the previous video we learned that how we can send the data from parent to child component, right? So if you did not watch our previous video which is uh, parent to child data transfer then you can just get the link from the description box. And for this video, first of all, let's check out the point. First of all, we will make a component with the name of user. Then we will use this user component as a child component of app component, right? And then we will use the event emitter to send the data from child to parent, right? We will make a function inside a parent component and we will call this function from the child, right? And with that way, we are able to send the data from child to parent so now let's get started and uh, first of all let's make a user component so just simply write here ng g g for generate c for component and component name which is user right and hit the enter and when we hit the enter you can see that we got a component here that's great okay so after that you can just include this component in the app.component.html for that you just have to write simply write here app and your component name which is user right and you can see that this is working great right and uh, if you just want to change this name uh, user works then you can change like child works and all right and let's use here some heading tags so that we can just watch it very clear child works yeah, that's great. And now let's uh, come to the app.component.ts file, which is the parent component, and let's define a function here, right? So I am just going to define a function with name like uh, parent function, so that it can just be identical that this is the parent component function, right? And uh, just simply console dot warn here data, and this data we will get inside the parameter and we will call this function from the child component and for calling this com uh, function we have to pass it in the child component and to passing it we have to just uh, go inside the app.component.html and just simply write here any uh, property name that you just want to send the data so you can just take x y z y z and our this function uh, which is we want to call on from the child function and here we can just put any name and uh, for putting the very similarity I just want to take the same name right like this and just use it like inside the banana brackets and now just go inside the child component which is user.component.ts and we have to import the two things from the angular code one is output and second one is the event emitter event emitter help us to call the parent function from the child right and here first of all let's just get the property from parent to child just choose here output this is basically a function and this is the parent function which we want to call which is parent function and uh, this should be basically a uh, type of event emitter right and uh, mm, 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 mm. let's assign a event emitter object to it instant to it like this and it should be uh, we have to define a type but uh, for a moment we can use here any so that it will accept the all kind of data right that's great now uh, just come inside the ng on it it will just automatically call when our uh, our page is loaded right so just right here this dot parent function dot emit emit is basically a function belongs to the event emitter and now this is a part of parent function because we use the event parameter instance inside here right like this and we can just pass some data from here like i just want to pass here an l which is my name and let's reload it uh, let me check what's wrong with it um, 
yep my bad i just i have to use here dollar event which i just forget to pass right so now let's come back here and now you can see that we are able to see the console anil which is just used inside the app.component.ts here right so now uh, let's pass some um, any any object and all like anil right so let's take a variable here let data and just put here name can be anil and then like age like 26 right and let's pass this data inside the uh, emit function now you can see that we are able to get the complete object here right so maybe now you have a new requirement that you just want to call or uh, send the data from to the parent function on a button click right so that let's just define a button like this and put any name to it like uh, send data to parent component right yeah this is a little bit big but uh, that's okay we can manage and now let's define a click event here okay like this and to the click event we can call any function like send data or whatever we want to make it right now just uh, use here send data and in this function we have to put this all stuff right like this so now uh, when we will click on this function then the send data will be sent to the parent component here you can see that again again and again right and if you just want to print this data which is coming from child component on this screen then how you can do it so for that uh, uh, obviously we want to print it inside the app.component.html right so now let's just use some br tag so that we can just make some uh, space right and uh, now just go to the app.component.ts let's take any property like name by default this is blank and here just simply put here name uh, this dot name basically have a name from data uh, parameter right and now come to the app.component.html and simply use here like h1 tag or whatever you want just use name right and uh, you will see for now we don't have any data because we will send data on button click and when we will click on it you will see a name here like this right so this is the way that how we can send the data from child to parent component and thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video